Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm gonna talk about... So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you another split screen. All right, so we are playing Osmo Coding. I'm gonna go ahead and click play. And if you're interested in teaching your students about coding and the basics of it, and to improve their sequencing ability, I highly recommend these type of coding games. This Osmo coding is great because they can see the code blocks in use. Some websites like code.org or Tinker, they have block codes also. And those block codes, if you put them together, creates a program for whatever object you're using to move or do things. So these block codes here are going to do the same thing to this monster that's walking around right now. It's going to tell the monster what to do. And right at the very beginning of this game, it's going to show you a few block codes to use, but then eventually you're going to write a program. So right now it's telling me to put a block code going forward and a block code play button and to not cover the buttons. Instead, once I put the block codes together, to press the play button. And now you can see that the monster was moving. It only moved once because I'm not telling it what to do. I haven't programmed it to move more than once. So every time I press play, it's only gonna move one square. Of course, if I keep pressing play, it's going to move a little bit more, but every time I hit play, it's moving that one time that I hit it. Now it's telling me to move that arrow down, so I can do that, and then press play. And now it's telling me to move forward again. And it's gonna tell me to move down. And I'm gonna move forward. But this time it's telling me to add this block. This block is telling me or telling the monster that he or she will move four times. So I'm gonna put it right here. And what's great about this Osmo coding is that these blocks are magnetic. So they're not gonna go anywhere. I mean, they'll move apart if you force it, but they stick together pretty well and they, they don't break apart easily. So I've done that, I'm going to hit play and now it's going to be moving four times. So I just programmed this monster to move four times forward. And now I'm going to change the program up a little bit and I'm going to add a five because I want it to go up five. And there it goes. And then I'm going to move forward five. move down and I'm going to hit this first before I move down. This hair, hand right here is telling me to click on that. So I'm going to click on it. And I just planted a seed and it looks like a rainbow strawberry. And now it's telling me to continue on my journey. So I've got moved down and I'm just gonna put four down. And just do two. And I'm done. That was the first level. Now the levels do get harder and they do introduce other blocks, like this jump block, and this loop block. 
So it does tell you when to use it at first, but then eventually the instructions will go away and then you'll have to figure out when is a good time to use it in your travels. So I hope this video helped you guys. Stay tuned for more Osmo videos. If you found this video helpful, I hope you click like and subscribe. See you next time.